So today we're going to run through three applications to really improve your streaming experience from installing other apps, from downloading other apps, from sideloading, jailbreaking, whichever term you want to use. These apps will all help your experience while streaming, whether on a Fire Stick, whether you've changed from Fire Stick to a different device, an on TV box, an Android TV box, you're a Nvidia Shield user. All these apps work on all those devices and these apps will all improve it. So before we get started, though, if you can do remember to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. As you will see on the channel, we have tons of videos for you, all for your streaming needs. So hit that follow and underneath, let me know what your favorite app is that you use. Any application, whether it's streaming or even a game, let me know. Brilliant. OK, so first application I will recommend is this one. Don't worry if you haven't got it, I will show you how to install them at the end. So this one is an application full of applications. There's many applications in here. Some are available in certain countries. Some are allowed in certain countries and not allowed in other countries. It's not for me. I can't cover every country. So do check the streaming laws and licensing laws in your countries for what you watch. But in here, you will get new updates. You'll get top APKs. You'll get ones for Android TV, animation, APK seekers, entertainment apps, essentials like your tools, gaming, graveyard, KODI forks, live TV stuff, music, players, sport, tools, and adult only as well. Okay, a couple of these do have codes. So if you need a pin number for any of them, do comment underneath. Um, I will get it pinned in the pin description as well. But let me know. I believe Graveyard needs a code and this one as well. Okay, so I'll pin that in the pinned comment. So when you go down and hit that like, I'll let you know. This one I'm not going to open up too much because like I say, Different countries allow different things, so I don't want to show you too much on that one. But this one is called APK Time, and I would recommend it to any streamer on their device. I will show you how to get it at the end. Okay, next one, which is going to help anybody out, is Downloader. Okay, most of you probably have Downloader. If you've never used Downloader before, it's available on Android TV, um, Android boxes, and Fire Sticks, Fire TV devices. And this one you would get from your store. But the reason why this one's so important is you need this one to get this one, okay? You need that one to get that one. And you need this one pretty much to get any application on your devices these days. It's just one of the easiest ways. And inside Downloader, it is pretty much just a web browser and you can type web addresses in here and you can type numbers in here and codes, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, and a third one I would recommend, we recommend it on every video anyway, is a VPN. The one I recommend is IPVanish, but obviously, but obviously with a VPN, you connect to a server and on that server, um, you can then access maybe different countries, locations. You're a little bit more secure online, that sort of stuff. OK, but we're going to the VPN a bit nearer at the end. But those are my free applications I'm going to recommend on this video. And I'm going to show you how to install um, probably all three of them, actually. But we will start with Downloader. Well, then we can get APK time. And then at the end, we will talk about IP Vanish. OK, so to get the Downloader, follow my steps from here. Um, this is the Fire Stick instructions. On a Android TV device, just go to your App Store. And on a Fire Stick, we go to the magnifying glass and we search Downloader. Go down to Downloader. Once you search that, you click it and get this one installed, OK? Get it installed on your device. Once installed, do not open it. Um, on an Android TV device, you can open it if you want to. On a Fire Stick, you need to pop to your settings. You need to go to My Fire TV. You then need to go into Developer Options. If you don't have the Developer Options, which I'm sure many of you do, there's a video underneath on how to turn that on, OK? Once in Developer Options, you're going to turn on ADB Debugging and Install Unknown Apps. You're going to make sure it's on for that Downloader app, OK? So far, so good. If I've gone too fast, just pop back in the video a bit. Brilliant. Once that's installed, you need to find it. Mine's here. Yours will most likely be in this three squares and the plus. Or again, on your Android TV box, it'd just be where all your apps are. Right, so go into here, open up your downloader, and as it opens, accept any permissions which pop up. You are then going to type in here. You can either type docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads, which is linked directly underneath this video, which you can test on your um, mobile phone if you want to. Or to make it easier, the great guys at Downloader have allowed us to make a short code. 
So you can type 75726. You then click go. And this will load up my page and you'll scroll down and you keep scrolling down. Um, you don't need to hit subscribe there. You do it under the video. Keep going down a little bit more. And what you will see, you'll get to a section which is app stores. And in here, you'll see APK time. You can click on that. If an advert pops up, it's very simple. You just click on close. You can go down, go down, and then click on big gray download button. Really simple. And anyone who says it doesn't work, I am literally demonstrating this straight off. You can then click on install. And again, don't open it yet. Click done and then delete the download file because you don't need that anymore. Delete and delete. Brilliant. That's the second one installed. So you've now got downloader. You've now got APK time. If you can't find them, they're in your free squares and your plus. And the last one you need is a VPN. So to get the VPN, magnifying glass, search or your app store on your um, Android TV, search IP vanish, click that, install it. But the thing is, once you install it, you will need to be able to log in to this one. OK, so to log into this one, you will need an account. But thankfully, you guys, there is an exclusive discount on at the minute at $2.19 a month. $2.19 a month is one of their cheapest deals they ever do, which is crazy with a 30 day money back guarantee. So this one won't be lasting for very long. So if you do want the VPN, that'll be linked underneath as well. That's linked underneath. And if you want any videos on how to use it, check out my channel or ask in the comments and I can either direct you to a good video or we can make a fresh one if it's something we haven't covered yet. But that'll be linked underneath for you as well. So you can get this great deal and then you just log into your account once your emailed address and login comes through. Or not your email address, your login details come through. There's so many servers, verified no traffic logs, no data transfer caps, servers in 90 plus regions, advanced encryption, shared IP addresses, multiple connection protocols. So it's spot on and they've got a good customer support. Fire TV stick, traffic protection, all in there in all one application. Brilliant. So those are my three. I'd like you all, if you can, to at least suggest me one underneath in the comments. And um, while you're heading down there to hit that like button, at least give me one comment underneath. And those pin numbers are really be in the pinned comment as well for you. Um, the pin yard for the adult and the graveyard. All linked underneath. Brilliant. So I hope you've all had a good weekend. Hope you enjoyed that video. My name's Doc Squiffy. Hope you, if you're brand new here, you hit that follow button and check out some of the other videos. If you're a regular watcher here and you're still watching at the end, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.